Hi, I'm Ron Mertens from OLED Info and Mario OLED Info. Today with Charbox and we're talking about LG Display's latest OLEDs. You see okay? Yeah. So uh, LG has been doing the earliest, the biggest TV OLED investment for a bunch of years now. Yeah. And it's been an amazing time. No? It's amazing. I think, I mean, I mean, I think that's one of my favorite displays here. I don't want to insult everybody else, but it's, it's a really nice looking display, the 8K. I don't know if you can see it in your photo. Yeah. Um, now they have this new meta technology. The idea is that you are adding micro lens, really, really small micro lens, right? There's like billions of micro lens on this display. So improving the light output. Um, and it looks great. I think in general, what we see in the display industry these days is that most of the focus is going into enhancing the brightness or more importantly the efficiency of the displays. So, you know, that's one technology that introducing the micro lens, you can see it there. How does meta. That work? It's, it's the idea is you put it's like an enlargement of the pixels, but on each pixel they're putting like hundreds or thousands, I don't know how many small micro lenses. And then the idea is that you know this devices calling it the light so more light is output outside of the display to your eyes so it's just a matter of you know losing less light going outside putting it all into your is eyes. it enhancing the direction of the beam or something yeah, exactly yeah. so that makes sense because OLED by itself is a Lambertian device it emits light everywhere and you really want to have it you know into your light on site and they have some kind of patterning it's got to be some kind of system that can make them so small and precise and or does it and maybe on the, and on the be cheap. precise it's I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on yeah. microlens. <laughs> We're yeah. going to have to ask LG maybe. Somehow they make it work in there. They make it work. And we see the same technology at other makers as well. They're not the only ones who are doing it. They're, I think I even saw a smartphone display with a similar technology. So that's going rather well. They're also applying it to um, you know, gaming monitors. All right. So the same meta technology, the 27 so inch 45, that also has a sort of anti-reflectance screen you can see. I'm not sure if it goes through the camera, but it beats of like, you know, it really keeps reflections away. So it looks a bit matte, like, that's nice. How would you say um, they compare with the QD OLED? Well, that's a, <laughs> a tough question. I'm not getting there. I think they're both excellent displays. I mean, you know, both OLEDs. Um, so yeah, uh, advantages to both. Yeah. I think we are being spoiled with this quality in the shops, it's amazing, these OLEDs, I think, right? I think you cannot go really any better than this. And you know, that's actually, I think, a problem for the display industry, because when you go to new technologies, you go you know, into micro LEDs, you go to all sorts of displays, QD emitting displays, and then you know, us as consumers cannot really see the difference anymore, because this is pretty much perfect. Um, so that's good and bad both, but that's where the world is going. You know? The next step is, of course, you need to be transported inside the movie uh, yes. and just by some kind of uh, a light field magic. How do you like all these light field displays? That's, I, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a challenging, for, at least for me, usually it gives me a bit of a headache, the light field displays. You have to, but if you look at it carefully from the right position, then, you know, that's nice. We saw some displays that you can interact with, you know, like, you can move objects on the light field display, that's kind of neat. But um, yeah, there's a nice night light field display here demo, we can see it if you want. I'm not uh, sure, but... How about we check the mobile stuff? Mobile so, stuff, yeah, uh, so this is mostly about flexible displays we're seeing. It's, is it like a, it's a... It's a new thing for LG to do mobile. It's an flexible no, OLED, no? No, no, they've been doing it for many years. They even supply Apple and other companies. So some of the Apple iPhones have LG displays. What's new here is that the display can fold to both yeah. sides. You can see it here. So it's not like only infolding, which is like what's on the market today. We only, you know. But do you think some of the uh, brands that are shipping foldable phones could be using LG? Or um, not yet? We'll I'm see. not sure. That's something we can discuss exactly. But yeah, they're out there and they look great. Um, and this one, like I said, can fold both ways. So that's like an innovation. Here's a foldable laptop. I think that these devices are kind of kind of nice. People are liking, actually liking the fact you can you, you can have a really large display, then you can cut it in half and carry it like a normal small laptop. It still works. You can have a virtual keyboard in there. I like the, so. the idea of uh, carrying it folded and boom, you have a huge and but you need an external keyboard, yeah. and you have like a desktop in yeah. a small laptop size. Exactly right. That's impressive. That's um, cool. 
Yeah, here How we do have you like the, the stretchable display? The stretchable one is really cool. I'm not sure if they... Can we go in? Yeah, they let us right. in. Um, yeah, that's actually a micro LED display. That's not an OLED. Um, so no, we consider micro LED to be the next generation display technology. This All is right. a very early stage display, so you obviously see a lot of defects, and you know the resolution is small and the colors are not impressive. Oh, but that's a, this stretch perform covers you know, everything. That's yes. uh, so you that's where the world is going now. This, right? <laughs> yeah. Nice. How do you make the? How do you make the? We still feel this technology is probably five, ten years uh, away. That's actual that's consumer yeah. adoption, yeah. and that's the light field. So yeah, you should. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> should really take. It from here, I'm not sure if it goes through the camera, but it's, it also includes eye tracking, I think, in this demo, I'm not sure. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I like in a transparent. Did you see any stores that have them? Um, there's a lot of stuff in Korea, actually. Um, it's still, again, you know, very early adoption, so mostly about high-end retail or some museums in Korea, stuff like that, use them. Um, what is this OS? OS means on silicon. That's an OLED device put in directly on silicon. And here you see, um, you know, the display itself is very small and it sits on top of the glasses. So it'll be over here, the display. And it you know, shoots the information down and then there are small micro yeah. um, mirrors in there. You see the mirror array that beams the display to your eye. It's made right. by the company called Latin AR. You stop. Yeah, no, no, continue. No, continue. So, so it's made cool. by a company called Latin AR in Korea and they're collaborating with nice. LG on this display. So uh, people can read all this on your website, no? Yeah, please go ahead to OLEDinfo.com and yeah. we update daily on OLED news. We also have on micro LEDs. And here we have our, my good friend Shri. Hey, why am I in your video? <laughs> because you're the nicest guy in this industry. Yeah. And <laughs> cool. Yeah. I think the first right. interview Sharbacks did with me ten years ago. More than ten years. Twelve years ago. ago. Then twelve years ago. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. So you have the best OLED website, no? Yes. Uh, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We try okay. to do our best. 